Nice. What's going on, man? Norbog here. We are back with our City Skyline Season 10, Episode, I think, 9? I do these back-to-back, -back, so I kind of lose track sometimes. But if we are on the Episode 9, there we go. Well, guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day. And if you are new to the channel, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. We do City Skylines content pretty regularly, and sometimes some other games check out our playlists and if you enjoyed today's video well hit that thumbs up button i'd really appreciate it but let's get into it so guys last time we kind of expanded our residential area and down into here and now we got a fire down here that seems to be out of control and it seems to me that because this is a service road that the free uh, the fire department can't get out here but if i put this here maybe they'll come out here so we'll see if that helps them come out here and put this fire out um but with that being said we do still have a uh, little bit of a demand mainly for industrial and i think it's time that we build our industrial area out just a little bit more right and Maybe they won't come out here and put that out. Maybe it'll just burn forever. We'll be known as the city with the burning bush, right? So let's bring our industrial road out. <clears throat> down. And we're going to bring this down. And we're just going to grid this area up as much as we can. And I think, right? Nope. From right there. There we go. And if we bring it to here, there we go. Perfect. And let's upgrade this road too, right? Can we upgrade the tunnel? Oh, we can. That's crazy. Excuse me, guys. Allergies and stuff. Man, one day it is 80 degrees, then the next day it is 40. <clears throat> now, we got to be careful. We don't want to spend too much money here. Are we actually spending money? No, we are not spending any money to switch this to industrial. So let's go ahead and go crazy then, right? That is cool that we don't have to, you know, I could have sworn we had to spend money to upgrade. And I'm pretty sure we could get rid of that power line, at least from here. Now these industrial roads look nicer and I'm not sure if they actually serve a function other than looking, you know, more authentic. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and get that little bit to there. <clears throat> now that we have our new industrial area, we'll give it some plumbing. Uh, right? Boop, 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 boop. We'll just continue the ziggy zag. And let's just do a little strip right here. And I feel like these guys are going to need some fire, too. They got one right there, but... <clears throat> this seems like a heavy area. So I'm going to kind of keep it covered. Uh, and let's mirror that. As soon as we get another $2,000, we're going to mirror this fire department right there on that side. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and get a uh, sidewalk here, right? 
And this will make this look like a one big uh, fire department area. So, bam, right there. Cool. Took care of that zone behind it. Um, we do have a commercial demand. Our fire is gone. We'll get rid of that road. We do have a commercial demand, and we still needed to work on our downtown area. So let's go ahead and dezone some of these guys, right? <clears throat> and that was our power, right? But do we need that power? <clears throat> we don't even need that power line, do we? Because we got power that connects elsewhere. And we'll just zone it all up, right? Go ahead and do that. Even though we're probably going to move half of this, not half of it, but a good quarter of it, when we actually build our proper freeway, you know, our mega freeway. We're getting a uh, residential demand again because, you know, some people just lost their homes, you know. Not sure what happened there. You know, the city came in and just said, you know, hey guys, you know what? You guys need to move on. And it was unfortunate for those guys, you know. But <clears throat> it happens in cities, you know. So we'll do that. I'm going to leave that space there. Always leave spaces every once in a while, guys. Just, you know, for sidewalks and stuff. We'll go ahead and zone all that in. Zone all that to there. And we're just going to go ahead and zone that. We'll leave that there. This means you got to go, buddy. There you go. And we'll zone all this in. And we'll zone that in. Those are perfect to fill in. And right there. Right there. Actually, you know what? Let's go in <clears throat> and let's give these guys a park. Right there. Now, if we go to our sidewalks, right from here. There we go. And then let's do what? <clears throat> like that. Maybe. Oh. <clears throat> Thought maybe we could get through down there, but nope. We'll get it down there. There's that. And look, people are already using that. I love watching the, the sidewalks. Yeah, you know, the pedestrians walking around, using their area. Now he is complaining, was that not enough uh, educated workers? Well, how are we doing over here, right? <clears throat> Got a couple of elementaries in the area. Um, I mean, maybe we could throw one more, right? You know, could we... Right here by the park, right? Oh. Oh. Look at that. Squeeze it in behind the sidewalk. Then when we get to high school... Um... I think we'll put the high school right there. We still need, you know, 2,400. That's fine. We do have our clinic and police down here. <clears throat> we still just need more and more residentials, guys. I mean, this is just crazy. Let's go ahead and fill this in. We're going to fill the rest of this in. 
we can always come back and make it look pretty later, right, guys? That's pretty later. And we're going to not let those small homes be built there. The three by three will be the smallest houses that we'll build in this area. We'll leave those for the little shops. Yep, you're complaining about educated workers. Well, yeah, buddy, we're working on it, man. We are working on it. No room left down there. Barely any room down here. Let's see. Build another little neighborhood in here. And I want to freeform this neighborhood down here, right? There we go. That should be straight. Okay, let's go with straight. Uh, I don't like this area. Let's fix that real quick. <clears throat> I will just do a curved, right? There we go. Looks a little bit better. Kind of like a little peanut, but not really. And now, what we'll do is... Actually, this, right? <clears throat> We're just going to go straight across. But we want that gap. <clears throat> right there, right? that get rid of that let's do that again with 11 11 bam 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 get rid of that <clears throat> get rid of that space occupied there but you know what? we're gonna just uh well we'll have to we'll have to go that way we got no choice on that one there's that get rid of this middle one <clears throat> and we got one more right maybe about right here there we go that is definitely an interesting little road and now I think maybe right here, right? Right there. And then let's do here. There we go. That gives us ways into this little new neighborhood, right? Our little, uh, like, I don't know, even know what that is, man. But let's go ahead and get plumbing up. Right, a little bit more over, down, and we're definitely going to need some more, more water, guys. So let's find, I mean, we could put another one just right here and just have a little series of them, but I think maybe, like, right over here, like, bam. Bam. I think those look nice in neighborhoods, you know? People might not like them and stuff. And not, might not want them there, but I always thought they looked cool and stuff. So, we do have a small, well, zero commercial demand, but we're gonna, 
we know that we're going to have some commercial stores over here. So let's go ahead and put just a few here. We'll do a four and a three. And then maybe a park. And I'm thinking, where's the dog park, right? Let's get the dog park. That'll be right here. And that'll help bridge that gap of power. I think the dog park's within reach. He might not be. It also might not need power because it is a dog park, right? Let's check that real quick. Power. Ah, power. There we go. It does have power. So let's go ahead and start building some homes on here, right? Four. And we'll just continue our fours, right? Boop. Now, there's a space there, so we can actually get away with doing this one right here. That leaves us a four right there. I'm going to leave that one for the sidewalk. And look at that. See, look at that. Everything works out good. There, I'm going to leave this one like this, right? <clears throat> All righty. I think we're going to fill this area in by the next episode, right? And we're going to be close to our uh, 7,500 which will give us another area, which is what we want. So we can buy this tile right there. Um, we could just uh, go ahead and fill, right? Come back in and we'll make it look all pretty later. We're still going to try to avoid those smaller than three tile homes, right? Like no two by twos, no anything like that. There we go. Let's see what this does for us real quick, guys. We'll hide that and we'll just kind of watch the scroll as we wrap today's episode. So, guys, if you enjoy this series or this episode, you know, hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see how this city turns out, well, subscribe to the channel. You know, it's free, right? How many things in life are free? Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Um, like I said before, you know, we're going to try to run this until City Skylines 2 comes out. So, yeah, it's supposed to be sometime this year. So, with that being said, though, thank you so much, guys. And you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.